Hello and welcome to this introduction part of the Oblivion 2017 Ultimate Graphics Tutorial. I think definitely the best graphics ever, 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 ever we had for Oblivion 2017 we are now. And uh, in 11 years we have seen a lot of Oblivion mods, but this mod list from, mod list from Bevilex is the theory of everything. I can guarantee that to you guys. And in this long tutorial series, I'll um, I'll explain you how to install everything correctly according to the Bevilex mod page. So as you can see, we do have a lot of uh, sections which we need to handle. And then for now, in this introduction part, I'll show you a little bit what you can expect. And what can you expect? What is different from my previous tutorials? Well, <laughs> everything. Well, not not of course everything, but. It looks like 150% better than my original uh, Oblivion overhaul, but and also bright weather at night. That was usually uh, bright weather in general, but also bright weather at night because you know with the EMBs we had a lot of issues with brightness and uh, being uh, difficult to see in game. And then uh, this all fixes everything. It fixes the pop up pretty much. We have great nature, great field of. Uh, view i mean um great uh, distant landscape and all and it's just something i've never seen before and i'm really glad i'm finally able to do this myself and um yeah the thing is what can you expect long modding sessions i'm going to be honest with you this is only if you are have true love for this game um because it's going to be very long with modding not necessarily difficult it's going to be however more difficult if you want to name it because the only thing you need to do is following installation instructions basically for me and um don't really need to think for yourself but yeah um it's it's going to be long freaking long i can guarantee you that and um even if you only need to follow installation instructions there are a lot of mods we're going to install a lot of mods so yeah you can see i'm not kidding right and um, yeah, you know, if, if you ever seen the movie The Matrix and um, Morpheus is asking Neo at a certain point, you know, you want to see how uh, uh, how far you can go in The Matrix or what it is actually asking. Um, I can't really remember, but anyway, he's saying that I can show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. And that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial series. Tutorial series. I'm going to show you how deep the rabbit hole goes as a reference, of course, to Alice in Wonderland. And um, yeah, so after we installed all the mods, how does it look? Well, when it comes to Rybash, this is everything. In Rybash, all the mods we have installed in Rybash. So that's our, that are a freaking lot, seriously. And these are the ESPs here, also a lot of them. And yeah, uh, again, I did show you already this in a, in a part on YouTube, but I'm going to show you some in-game footage. So let's uh, jump into the game with a Bethesda logo. And now let's click on continue and let's enter the wonderful modded world of Oblivion. And yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, as you can see the distant landscape, oh, it's initializing, okay. Um, the wonderful distant landscape there um i didn't use any distant landscape generators like test for logic and this is all pure out of the modded box so yeah as you can see that looks great i think and um it just looks so natural and um oh i actually uh, <laughs> entered a quest zone but yeah so um what, what, what can I tell you? I, I pretty much told you guys everything in the first, in the, in the showcase videos, but let's just go to the forest because I always say that's where I think uh, Oblivion shines the best in forest areas. And um, yeah, you know, uh, as you can see, the grass density looks so great. The variety of grass, the sunlight, the god rays, they look fantastic in, um, in Oblivion, the modded version. And um, yeah, everything has been retextured all for the ground. We have installed a lot of texture packs, but also individual specific textures, specific mods for trees, specific mods for grass. You know, uh, pretty much everything you can um, you can think of. Let's see. Let's let's go to um, another place to uh, an example. The Imperial City, the 
area where we will are near the edges of the imperial city and we have some fog and as you can see we now uh, have, have a different weather type and it still looks very good still looks natural but i can force weather actually to be bright so i'm going to do that yeah and uh, yeah, and the the thing was always that EMBs look too dark and all. But uh, even when we have pitch black, I changed the uh, night values to original oblivion night values. So let's uh, let's enter the night to prove you that it still looks great in night time. So let's wait for it. Yeah, as you can see, you know we can see everything still. Everything is still visible, and uh, that's what makes it also very well playable this looks very nice here this lantern and the night sky and all the textures look very good and yeah you know it's just a completely different game it's um if they if, if bethesda would remaster oblivion and release it like this then they would have my credits but yeah you know for skyrim special edition that's such a cash cow for them unfortunately but this is how it looks in game. You have seen some of the uh, of the daylight footage and some of the night footage. And to prove you that it's not too dark, um, you can we can still look fine. Also here, this nice chimney effect here, as you can see, all those. Oh, now it pops away. Okay, never mind. Uh, but uh, yeah, all the small things. Oh god, that's a quest character, I think. Never mind. Yeah, that's that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you. If you want to see more footage, you can. I suggest uh, I suggest you watch my showcase videos. But uh, for the rest, go start the tutorials. I know it's a lot of work, um, but it will definitely be worth it. It will definitely be worth it. And then I'll hope to see you guys play Oblivion in the wonderful modded world. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, for the ones who were. Uh, saying that the combat may look uh, may may was a little bit buggy or something, don't worry because as you can see, I'm fighting creatures here and they still look uh, good. I'm not summoning a skeleton. I'm summoning fireballs. They still look good. Still solid frames per second. Let's uh, draw my sword out. Yeah, you know, no worries. Hi, buddy. So um. Oh good, I think, um, yeah, let, let me show you how your Oblivion looks, let's record a showcase for your Oblivion and then hopefully my tutorials will help you and of course thanks to Bevelex for all his wonderful work. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you guys at the first part of this tutorial. Take care and bye bye.